Hey guys, Thunder E here, and no, I did not forget this bad boy, the S21. I have it in here. Let's go ahead, unbox this bad boy, and then start gaming. So as you can clearly see, there is nothing in the box in terms of charger and headphones that is no longer there with the S21 series. Uh, another thing to mention is there's also no support for MST, which is the payment system that can replicate credit cards. I just found that out today. But let's talk about gaming on the Galaxy S21. First of all, the Phantom Violet S21 is a gorgeous looking device. That gold trimming around the camera, the, the Phantom Violet color looks really nice. This is glastic at the back, but it feels really good. They've done a good job here on this device. Now, in terms of internals, we're looking at the Snapdragon 888. Yes, this version I'm holding has the Snapdragon 888. I will be getting the Exynos version of the S21 Ultra, so stay tuned for that. But this is the 888 with eight gigabytes of RAM in here and storage starts from 128 gigabytes. Now you've got 4,000 milliamp battery. It's a 5G device, of course, I would expect with the integrated SOC for that. So all that is packed in to your device. Now, what about the display? We've got a full HD plus display, which is the first time for Samsung, right? Usually it's usually QHD plus or QHD. This is a full HD plus display, 6.2 inches, 120 Hertz. So you do have that here and it is priced at 799. So the price point is definitely lower from what we had last year. In terms of feel, it feels really nice and comfortable. Now you guys are going, okay, Thunder E, gaming. Gaming, gaming. So I'm gonna tell you this right off the bat. I do have an embargo, so I cannot talk about benchmarks, heats, uh, any kind of declaration on that sort, but I can show you how games run on this. You're gonna see the games in 60 FPS. I'll be playing Call of Duty Mobile, PUBG Mobile, maybe some Genshin Impact just a little bit, just so you guys can see how this actually performs, and then we can begin. So you saw how it performed gaming wise. Uh, it looked pretty good, at least from this standpoint. As I mentioned earlier, stay tuned for my full video, my full review next week. That will give you more in-depth look in terms of uh, benchmarks, FPSs, heat, all that fun stuff. 
Speaking of heat dissipation, this is where I have to bring up our channel sponsor, Spigen. I love them because they make some really great cases and I've been using them for years. And their new line of cases for the S21, it's pretty dope. Now they've got, of course, the rugged armor, uh, which is nice. It's got that nice raise, or as Flossie would say, the resivity uh, over the camera so you don't damage the camera hump, which is pretty cool. Then you've also got the ultra hybrid case, which is a clear case, allowing you to see the colors of your S21 in full glory. And one of my favorite cases is the liquid air. I like the grip around it because when I'm gaming, I wanna make sure I can hold this properly it doesn't slip out, doesn't feel too hot, and this does a good job. Definitely check out their cases. Plus, they do have cases for the Galaxy Buds as well. So, speaking of gaming, guys, I want you guys to let me know what games you want to see with the S21, uh, because I'll be covering a lot of games on the S21 Ultra, but I want to cover a different set of games on the S21. So leave those comments down below. What else would you like to see? I know a lot of you are waiting for a speaker test, so that will be coming soon, so stay tuned for that. But I gotta say though, I really like the look and feel of the S21. If you're gonna pick it up, I would suggest the uh, Phantom Violet. This is my favorite color so far for any of the Galaxy S21 series devices. If you have any questions or any comments, let me know. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and Always enjoy your entertainment.